Ever found yourself puzzled by the signals from your crush? You're not alone. Welcome to the intricate labyrinth that is the dating game. It's an exhilarating roller coaster ride filled with thrilling highs and perplexing lows. Sometimes it feels like you've unlocked a secret level, only to find yourself trapped in a maze of mixed signals where yes could mean no and no could mean maybe. So what's causing this confusion? Enter the psychological concepts of cognitive dissonance and the halo effect. Cognitive dissonance is the discomfort we feel when our actions don't match our beliefs. For instance, your crush may enjoy your company, but their fear of commitment might prevent them from taking it a step further. Then there's the halo effect, a cognitive bias where our overall impression of a person influences how we feel and think about their character. It's like when your crush makes you laugh and suddenly all their jokes seem funnier. Navigating the dating game can feel like deciphering a secret code, but don't worry. Let's unravel the enigma of mixed signals together. Did you know that our perception can play tricks on us? It's true. And two of the biggest culprits in this grand illusion are the halo effect and cognitive dissonance. Let's start with the halo effect. Imagine you're on a date with someone incredibly attractive. Their eyes sparkle, their smile is captivating, and they're dressed to the nines. Now, because of their physical attractiveness, you might unknowingly attribute other positive qualities to them, like intelligence or kindness. This is the halo effect in action. It's our mind's shortcut, a cognitive bias where our impression of someone in one area influences our opinion of them in other areas. On the other hand, cognitive dissonance is a mental discomfort that happens when we hold two or more contradictory beliefs, values, or attitudes at the same time. Let's say you're interested in someone, but they've rejected you. However, they still act interested and engage with you on a deep level. You're left in a state of confusion, experiencing cognitive dissonance. Your belief that they're interested in you, based on their behavior, clashes with the reality of their rejection. In a dating scenario, these psychological phenomena can seriously influence our interpretation of interactions and lead to misunderstandings. For example, the halo effect might make us overlook red flags because we're so smitten by someone's charm. Or cognitive dissonance can leave us hanging on to a relationship that's clearly not reciprocated, simply because we can't reconcile the person's actions with their words. So, what's the takeaway here? It's crucial to be aware of these mind games. Understanding the halo effect can help us see past the surface, and recognizing cognitive dissonance can guide us towards clarity in confusing situations. Understanding these concepts can better equip us to navigate the dating scene. Has a crush ever left you baffled with their mixed signals? If you've been nodding along with our discussion so far, it's time to show some love. Hit that like button and let's keep this conversation going. We all know that dating can be a labyrinth of emotions and misinterpretations. You're not alone in this, and your experiences matter. So why not share your story? Drop a comment below about that time when mixed signals left you scratching your head. Or maybe you've cracked the code on deciphering these puzzling behaviors. Either way, your narrative could be the guiding light for someone else navigating the murky waters of dating. Remember, every thumbs up, every share, and every comment helps us to keep producing content that you find valuable. Plus, it's a fantastic way to connect with others who are riding the same emotional roller coaster. So, how do you decipher genuine interest from a mere friendly interaction? A question that's as old as time, but let's try to unravel it together. Let's start with deep conversations. Genuine interest often manifests itself in the form of meaningful, deep conversations. If someone is truly interested in you, they won't just stick to surface level chatter. They'll dive into the deep end, exploring your thoughts, dreams, and fears. For instance, instead of just asking about your favorite movie, they might delve into why you love it, what it means to you, how it makes you feel. Next up, remembering details. When someone is genuinely interested, they have an almost uncanny ability to remember the smallest details, even ones you might have mentioned offhand. It could be your favorite book you mentioned once, or that you prefer your coffee with a dash of cinnamon. These details might seem insignificant, but remembering them is a clear sign of genuine interest. On to teasing. Now this one might seem counterintuitive, but teasing is often a sign of genuine interest. It's a playful way to create a connection, to share a private joke, to establish camaraderie. 
Remember that time when she playfully teased you about your goofy dance moves? That was not just for laughs, it was a subtle sign of her interest. Finally, let's talk about body language. Body language can speak volumes about a person's interest. Look for signs like leaning in when you're talking, maintaining eye contact, and mirroring your movements. Like when you notice her subtly leaning in during a conversation, or her eyes sparkling with interest as she maintains eye contact. Despite these signs, sometimes rejection still happens. But why? Ever been rejected by someone who seemed truly interested in you? It's a common scenario that leaves many of us scratching our heads. Let's delve into why this happens. Firstly, internal conflicts could be at play. She might be wrestling with personal issues that have nothing to do with you. For example, she might be dealing with unresolved past relationships, or she might be figuring out her own feelings and desires. Secondly, fear of intimacy might cause her to pull away. Perhaps she's been hurt before and is protecting her heart. Think about a woman who's been through a tough breakup. She might still be healing and not ready to jump into another relationship. Lastly, she might value your friendship too much to risk it. Imagine you've built a strong bond as friends. She might fear that transitioning into a romantic relationship could jeopardize what you already have. Remember, respect and communication are key. Keep these in mind as you navigate the dating game.